Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching season 12 of America's Next Top Model Makeovers. I'm excited. I cannot believe I haven't watched every single season yet. Surprisingly enough, I still have several more to go. I don't know how that's possible. It's been so damn long since I started this journey of America's Next Top Model reaction videos. We're gonna keep going until we finish them all because why the f not? I don't recognize any of the girls from this season when I looked at the promos for it. I'm interested to see if any of these makeovers jog my memory at all and Let's see what happens today. Hopefully we get some good stuff going on, but you know what happens. Most of the time, these girls get some weird makeovers. Let's do it. All right, let's dive into the episode. Oh, I love saying dive in. It's a good phrase, don't you think? Dive in. Oh yes, Bradford, <laughs> it's a great phrase. Now on to you, Sully. Thank you. All right, America's Next Time Model is season 12. Let's begin. Tyra Mel! Whether it's on the streets or the sidewalk, you'll be turning heads. It smells like a makeover to me. Oh my god, remember how popular limousines were back then? It's so Barbie dog cute. It's pink with like blue stripes on. Yes! I need this in my life. Next time I go to an event, I want this pink limo, Emma. Okay. You missed it. I, I did. Show it to me again. You want a pink limo? No, no, it's like the most tacky thing. If I don't get that, you're gonna have. You're gonna I freak need out. it. You're gonna freak out. Okay, can fine. we locate it now? I want it now. Yes, Baruka, sweetheart. <laughs> I will get you the pink limo. Thank you, Dotty. <laughs> Walk out and we see this stretched limo. Honestly, such goals. <laughs> Our tire mill said that we were gonna turn heads, and now I know why she's talking about. Are they in Brooklyn? Oh it's so girly. Yeah. It's so fun. They're in Manhattan at John Barrett. My God. Mr. J, Miss J. Look at the phone. If you choose to accept it. In your hands are 12 dossiers of 12 busted up models. Wait, this is iconic. I need you to transform these wannabe. Wow, Jay's hair looks so good. It is so white. Italian models. And yes, I know this mission is going to be difficult. There will be tears, there will be begging, there will be, oh no, not my hair. <laughs> Care. Cut it, slice it, dice it. Copy that, T. Good luck. Tyra. It just gets more and more iconic every time I see her. This is scary. Look at you guys getting a little taste of the high life on Fifth Avenue. Ooh. Dorf Goodman. Ow. And you're standing in the John. Look at the purple walls. That was such a thing back then. Surprise that you're getting makeover. <laughs> He's the man. He's absolutely amazing. People wait for two months for an appointment for him. I love when they have them recite these lines like in their uh, confessionals. This girl has no idea who John Barrett is. Like there's no way. She's like, people have to wait two months to get an appointment with him. Like girl, you've never once heard of John Barrett. Don't lie. And all of your looks are right here in these dossiers. For fierce eyes only, that means I can look. And your makeover is complete. I remember this girl. Oh my God, she's so pretty. She looks like a doll, a living doll. Ooh, we got some extensions going on. We got some color. Here's a top secret plan for Jessica. She's the prettiest girl in her high school, but she needs to be edged out to be a true top model. So we're gonna chop it shorter, add a little wave and a little red. I wasn't nervous at all and- Oh! She looks exactly the same. However, still, we're on season 12 and they still can't get the before picture right. They still can't show you what the person looks like beforehand. I don't understand that at all. Put her hair down. Let me see what's going on beforehand and let me see what's going on after. So you can do a little comparison moment. She looks exactly the same. I think they like tinted her hair red and added extensions, which she did not need at all. Um, and it's gonna be really a pain for her to have extensions in her hair. Good luck to her, and I would have loved to see her platinum blonde. You would love to see everyone platinum blonde. Why does everybody say that? I don't know. Because I- it kind of like stands true though. You love blondes. No, I love blondes. I love it, love it, love it. I think every hairstylist has like a preference of like what they enjoy doing the most, and I like blonding, and that's a very, 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 very common thing with hairdressers. 
Yeah, like blonding. It's a thing. I like redding. No, that's not. I like browning. I do always compliment brown hair and tell people that they should have, they should have brown hair when they have blonde hair. So everybody ignores when I say that. And then every time I say anything about blonde hair, everybody's like, oh, only like blondes. And I don't care. I'm over it. Do you know how f***ing over shit I am at this point in my life? And no more hairdresser reacts to work as next top model. It's just... It's just Brad reacts to his life. Oh my <laughs> god. I need to get that off my chest. <laughs> No tears. No I'll tears. just keep moving on. Oh my god, she is so pretty. She looks like a serious top model. So I'm cutting off that mohawk thing and making the hair that remains a lot. <gasps> mm. Wow. I didn't really notice that I mm. good. Here's a prime example where I liked the girl better with brown hair. Like way, 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 way better. I don't like the blonde on her. She looked so much more like a model beforehand with the natural hair color. Uh, I do like the haircut, but not a fan of the color. Allison, those eyes, those eyes, those eyes. Oh, she's so pretty. And they deserve to have big. Ooh, they said balayage. This hair. Oh my God. Uh, they made her look like Dolly Parton and like no offense to Dolly Parton, she's gorgeous, but like it ain't the vibe for this. It's so upsetting. It looked so much cuter before. I would have just liked if they gave her a really edgy haircut, like a chin length blunt bob and just straighten the f out of it and had like no bend to it and was just like super architectural and it was kept brown and like we didn't do anything else. I think that would have been way better for her. This highlighted blonde with the, the teasing and the curl and the extensions, it's like all too much. Nyjah's hair is nice. She's so pretty too. We're gonna exaggerate that weed. All right, let's go. Ooh. I mean, listen, she didn't need much change. I actually like that they didn't do a lot on her because I think the dark brown hair color she came in with was gorgeous. I love the length and she just has incredibly beautiful hair. I don't know how she gets it so silky and soft and so shiny. It works for her and her face says it all. I don't think she needs anything else. When I look at faux, I see cuteness. Cute. <gasps> She's so cute. Don't cut it in top model world. So I'm cutting all of that cute hair Hair off. B5. Ooh. <laughs> I definitely was not expecting it. Okay. Aw. Whoa. That was really, 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 really pretty. I'm obsessed with that makeover. That haircut was beautifully done. It was like an edgy pixie cut and I love it. I love the color. I love the cut. I loved the styling. I think it made her look like a serious model and she looked incredible. Celia. Oh, I hope they cut all of her hair off. Such beautiful hair, but it gets in the way of those gorgeous cheekbones. So I'm cutting it off. Every girl out there has long, stringy hair. Her hair was long. Literally. A sandal. <laughs> <laughs> Celia's. Yes, they're cutting it off. Oh my God, she already looks. Right next time, I'm thinking it's gonna happen. 20 times better. Oddly enough, I feel liberated, and I think that'll translate better in photo shoots. Okay, here's the thing. It was the styling for me that did not work with this one. I love the haircut. Like, it looked really, really nice, but then they did that weird, like, pushback faux hawk thing. But, you know, this was filmed a very long time ago. <laughs> you just call it a faux hawk. That's what you call it. <laughs> Oh, because I think her name, her name was Faux. No, I'm on a different girl now. <laughs> <laughs> a Faux Hawk. This is what I deal with every day. <laughs> every day. I mean, this weave afro is absolutely beautiful, but limiting. So we're going to take those weave tracks out that are the fro, because they have to go. We're going to add. I liked it. Gamble waves. <laughs> oh, of course, Jay has to always do the most. This is questionable behavior. <laughs> Oh, I mean, honestly, it was kind of a look. I actually saw a shirt from, I think it was Balenciaga that they made with um, hair extensions and I'm considering buying it. Can we put a picture of it up here? What do you guys think? Should I get this? I love my new hair. It's definitely different from the pro. 
but it's long, it's beautiful, and it's fantabulous. It was equally as good before and after, I think. I mean, the fro, it just looks a little more natural, and I don't know, I just think it looks a little bit better on her as a model, but I do really like the straight on hair on her also. Do I wish they did more than that? Not really, like, I feel like it was the perfect amount of a makeover for her, but I don't know, the fro was really pretty. I don't, I don't know if I love the straight hair. Courtney, gosh, she's tan, and there's not much I can do about that. Courtney. Change the color of her hair. Oh! She will be cold red. Is this one of my top favorites? It may just be today. Courtney, it made her skin so much more glowy and vibrant after the more copper color. Wow, I mean, I really love the styling of it. I love the haircut. I think it really changed her look up. She actually kind of looks younger after, and I really, really love this color. It's amazing. J'adore London's bone structure. Bone structure like that needs shorter hair. That's a lot. Okay. Oh my god! Tissue. Oh my god! <laughs> it is such a drastic change, but I do believe that change is good. Definitely pretty. I wish they cut it shorter. I love that they did a good amount of a change and they did a great job at lifting her hair from that really dark color to that really blonde color. But I don't know, the haircut was just lacking for me and maybe the styling, it was cute. Not my favorite though. I need two J's, I need a water spray. Oh no, here it comes. Just when she- Natalie. Thank you, go back to the I did water. not think I was safe. Scissors? No, wait, 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 wait. I know it's gonna be extreme. Oh, she's gonna- Something that I'm not comfortable. Be so dramatic. Not only John, you're no. saying wait to Tyra. I know, I know, I know, I know. Cut her hair. Oh, wait. No, I can't, dude, I can't. Just put your head down, please. I can't do this. <laughs> oh my God. It's actually so funny to me how, not funny, I guess I shouldn't say funny, but it's so interesting how dependent these girls are on their hair sometimes and like it means everything to them. This girl is about to have a panic attack because they're cutting off her hair. It's sad, like you're more than your hair. Hair is amazing and you can have fun with it, but you're more than it. I can't, dude, I can't. I can't do this. Just a second, John. It's literally Emma getting her hair done. <laughs> like I'm cutting off a half an inch. She's like, you can't. Nothing's happening to your hair. <laughs> Natalie. She looks fine like she is. Oh. First saw you in casting, we went model, head to toe, we don't need to do anything. The real lesson is you gotta trust the people you work with. We're not making decisions for shock value. Have a nice makeover. Psych. It's <laughs> They're not changing her hair. They think her hair was perfect. It was just unnecessarily long. It's just really boring and she should have at least got a haircut. Great, great. I'm so flattered because I don't think Tyra has ever just left somebody's hair alone. Oh. Flattered? I'd be bored. Wind tunnel. So I'm gonna have Tiana's hair slicked back and juicy like a chair. Long wavy hair, I got something that can blow in the wind. They screwed you over with that weave, first of all. I didn't even give you a part. You get to forever have your hair slicked back. What kind of bullshit is that? It's gonna be a freaking brick on your head. Oh my God, I can barely see. Whoa, that's a lot of plastic. Mane like a lion. So I'm gonna give her a big blonde weave. Ooh. and they did a magnificent job. I don't think it looks bad. It was a little bit too warm for her. I would have liked to see a more cool toned, neutral blonde on her rather than a very warm blonde, but you don't know. Maybe they couldn't lighten it enough to make it a neutral cool. It was just like, ugh, to me, like, ugh. It was cute, like, I liked the change. It wasn't like anything like, ugh, like, am I like a big one? Okay, so I only had two top favorites today, um, and they were Courtney and Foe. I think the person that takes the cake is 
Info. It is sort of a more simple makeover, but I just think it really works for her. I don't know, it really transformed her into a serious looking model. It was just so high fashion and pretty, and I just, I don't know, she just looked amazing in my opinion. You may disagree with me, and that's totally fine, but let me know who your favorite was, if you would like to let me know or not. They may not let me know. But they could let they me could know. They could let me know. I'll let you know if they let you know. Thank you. So that was cycle 12 of America's Next Top Model Makeovers. And wow, I feel like they were more current than other episodes we've seen and they looked fabulous. There was nothing that like really stood out that was actually terrible, terrible, terrible. So I'm happy about that. But you guys, make sure you follow me everywhere else. These are all my social media handles and every single different platform. I'm everywhere at all times. This is my phone number. Yes, it's really my number. Yes, I can really see all your texts. And yes, I will be picking a few of you to respond to. So text me now. Make sure you guys check out my hair care brand, X Mono Hair, link down below. And check out our new shampoos and conditioners available on 1022. Ooh, I'm so excited. We finally have all kinds of shampoos and conditioners for you guys. And they're stunning. Also, you can follow us at X Mono Hair to learn more about all of our new releases coming up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon if you would like. No pressure, but it'd be nice. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Cassandra and she says, hey Brad, let me just tell you I love you and adore you and I'm obsessed with your channel. Thank you, Cassandra. Um, I've been thinking about cutting my hair and possibly changing the top color of my hair. I've done green, blue, purple. Uh, that's it so far. I also want a haircut because it's super long. Any advice on a color and cut for me. Oh my God, I find your color right now very intriguing and very interesting. I like what's going on a lot. Honestly, if you're gonna change anything, maybe do like orange root and yellow ends, but in the same variation of what you're working with now. Like I think that'd be a fun change. And then also, I definitely think you should chop it and do like collarbone length. It would look unbelievable on you. If you end up doing that, I would love to see a photo. Uh, so make sure you send one to me. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.